guys hi this is Ola in Karimu and I'm your nurse coach Ola you're welcome to today and uh, today I'm just going to be talking you through the new uh, registration portal for North Amindu Free Board of Ireland my NMBI so I've had a lot of questions regarding people having challenges um, registering via the my NMBI so if you are from overseas that means your training wasn't done in Ireland then you will need this so other people that need this is if your training like I said it's outside Ireland you're going to need this or if you are trying to register into the board of uh, Ireland nursing board of Ireland you're going to need this and you trained outside if you are trying to add additional qualifications or, or certification to your registration in Ireland and you are formally trained uh, outside Ireland, then you will need it. So let's go to how this um, goes. My NMBI, this is an applicant user guide. All right, so I'll talk you through. So usually, uh, before you can do this, you make sure that like we've done in the last video, you must have your ILT, IELTS or OET results valid one and appropriate. So we could check my other videos to see if you are eligible or if your results uh, is, is considered when it comes to Ireland. So like I said, who is this guide for? If you trained as nurse outside of Ireland and you wish to register in Ireland, you're going to need to, to listen to this. If you are an applicant and you trained outside Ireland, or even though you are currently on the nursing and midwife uh, registration now, but you want to add uh, additional qualification, you will need it. If you are an applicant wishing to practice in Ireland, even temporarily or occasionally, you're going to need it. Or even if you are an European professional card holder, you're going to need it. So this guide will help you uh all train nurses to that uh, wish to register so it's just very it's a very simple uh guide but of course you need to pay attention to the details so i'll go straight to uh the basic thing you have to do like i said you need to have ready your uh english language profici proficiency test either ilts or oet now, there are some terminologies that you get used to as we go on our West Plain. So, generally, for the application process with NMBI, there are two main steps that are required. First of all, is you need to uh, make sure that your qualification is recognized. So, qualifications recognition is the first one, and this involves the process by which NMBI will compare your qualification with the Irish education standard and requirements. So you go through this process and then you submit all the required documents and they will, the NMBI will assess your documents and give you a feedback. Either your qualification is comparable to that of the Irish education standard and requirements. And the second step is the registration. All right. So the first thing you do in the first aspect, which is uh, recognition process, you log into my NMBI. So you have my NMBI. So once you log in into my NMBI, it, give, it brings you this page. So you see my NMBI. All right. So for people, this is the way you are going to find it. So if you already have your new registration because you are registering a new so you will need to put in you ask you to log in here put a username and a password there for those that this is your first time this the page is going to be different this is because i am already here so i could just sign in here so login so this is my own login page Okay, you can see all light on, all light in car, light on, I removed there. So this is my own login page. So once you find this, you find your account. That's my own details there. But what we want to go to is registration services. So registration services, and then you go to 
And we see this physician services, and then you go to oversee recognition. So, what is the recognition of qualifications? So, that is what I've explained before to compare your qualifications with that of Irish standard, Irish education standard. So, now this process usually it varies depending on individual circumstances and depending on your documentation if they are correct and they're submitted and time usually take one to three months to process your application so nmbi will, will require up to one to three months to process your application so what happens after recognition is that you either if you if your registration or if your document uh seems eligible then you'll be given uh, a result you'll be given an outcome outcome could vary we'll get to that later sometimes even if you, you are allowed to apply for multiple divisions like you can apply as a general nurse as a midwife as a psychiatry nurse so you can apply for multiple divisions at the same time okay so if you do this at the same time or within seven days you'll be charged a single fee but if you do this after then you have to you pay extra fee for that so i think for nmbi registration uh the registration fee is 145 euros so if this is done within the same time uh then you can that same amount to cover for your multiple division registration but if after seven days you have to pay that charge extra all right so once you get this you click next all right so it's going to bring you to this page so this is a gdpr that you just need to read through and make sure that you accept accept it if that is fine by you so what require here this is where you put in your personal details because my own personal details already here so you can find that so Put in your personal details, your contact address, your full name, your maiden name. So be sure that whatever name you have here is the same as you have on your ILTS documents, your international passport, and every other relevant document. Just make sure that your name reflects. For those that if you are married before, uh, after you obtain your degree, just like my hair, you can put your maiden name. You can put your maiden name here. All right, just to show that some documents might be reflecting your maiden name. So you need to put that there. It says any other name known by. So your gender, date of birth, this must be correct. Your place of birth, your nationality, contact address. So now this is your contract address. Need to be the address, your permanent home address, okay? So we'll put that there and that is it. So email english language and that's that's that of course you need to put your primary um language all right so after that once you finish that you need to complete this other this other pathway that asks you are you an eu national so or oh, the first one is select division that you want to apply to so for instance, you are applying as a midwife, okay? If you put there as a midwife, and then it's going to ask you, are you an EU national? So, no. So, what pathway are you taking? It asks you the pathway. Are you a family member of a, of a, of a member state? No. Uh, have you been granted refugee? No. All right, so we keep answering answering all those questions like that. Are you a family member of a person granted refugee? No. So now you proceed to, so that means your category uh, recognition part is proceed to non-directive G3. So and then we go to next. This is kind of taking a little while, so you need to be patient with the process. So the other part is now you are in your pathway as a G3 candidate. So it's going to ask you, did you attain your qualification within the last year? That's the qualification as a nurse or midwife. So there's yes. So it's going to ask you to upload the documents here. So 
it says further details about required documents is available here. so let's see what that gives us so you have a list of documents that you might need in this other parts way so you might need English language registration if that is it you need the passport you need a proof of indemnity a proof of professional experience that means this is from your employer you are going to need this as well qualification form this is the form that you are going to download once you have completed the documentation transcripts of training you need the transcripts of the official transcripts of the program so these tr transcripts i'm going to talk about it in another video because it is the professional transcript that is required it is not the official transcript that you get from your university it is a professional transcript that will show the number of hours of your courses so you're going to need that in case your your document is not in english and you need to translate you're, not, you're going to need the translation of any document that is not in english so i'll go through it again so uh certificate of acquired rights so this one might not be easy that is used in the eu so if you are not from eu you don't need this you don't need a certificate of conformity if you are not from eu so you need a certificate of current professional status or certificates of good character now somebody has asked me this question that what does this mean so this is simply some a form that will be completed by the nursing and military board of your country that says that you have uh you, you you've practiced in that country and you hold their license so that's a certificate of current professional status so it depends on your country okay for nigeria i know the north american council we we we, we give this it's more or less like the verification of of license as well so the other thing you will need like i've mentioned is evidence of formal qualification or diploma so you need your diploma or parchment or official evidence that you successfully completed your training so this one is talking about your certificate it just means like your certi maybe your rn certificate your bsc certificate you know parchment means the one that shows the official uh logo of your school and all that that shows that you have passed so 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 you have degree you have uh two one you have credit you have pass and the evidence of former qualification diploma i've mentioned that evidence of meeting the minimum um levels of an english language test either ilts or oet so in another video you are going to be talking about the minimum requirement for your english language proficiency but you can find details as well evidence of registering and practicing in english now to some uh people especially if you are from australia canada new zealand united states of america united kingdom you don't need to provide ilts or oet what you just need is a letter ed uh letter on added paper or an email from your employer that will say the location of your employment the date of your uh, employment and stating that you practice as a nurse or midwife in english so that will cover you up so evidence of training in english in a in the nmbi registration recognized country so this also applies to the same category of people i've mentioned before so if there are any other pv any other related training or previous compensation measures that you have undergone maybe your bsc you have masters how that you can upload it passport id is also very important so your passport or a national identity card uh, uh, is very important. So there is specific requirements. Your passports need to be in full color and a minimum quality of 300 DPI. So you have all that requirement there. So proof of professional practice, I've mentioned that. Okay, this one is from your employer. Some people call it a work certificate, an employer certificate as applicable. So the form that you have filled and you have downloaded, that's important. You also need to up, uh, upload that. Transcript of training, remember it is your professional transcripts. If you have uh, if you, if you have any question about this, you can drop in the comment box. I'm going to do another video to tell us details of 
what and what should be in your professional transcripts and what should not be. All right. So once you have all this, you have all this, you're going to have different segments where you can submit them. So this is your evidence of former qualification. You just select once you have them ready on your phone or your laptop, you select and you upload. So upload all the documents as required. And once you finish uploading, it's going to ask you to submit and then you can make payments. So for, to register in uh, in Ireland through the NMBI, the registration fee is 350 euros. So 350 euros is what is required for you to register. And this is a non-refundable fee. So just bear that in mind. So I, depending on the equivalent of that in your country so bear that in mind 350 euro is what is required for you thank you so much bye for now talk to you later if you have any question regarding your registration as a nurse in ireland feel free to ask you can drop in your comment in the comment section either on youtube or facebook or instagram wherever where you're calling from thank you bye for now Thank you.